the final episode of She-Hulk, in my opinion, had one of the best openings in anything Marvel Studios has done so far. A throwback to the legal disputes that led to the creation of She-Hulk, connecting it to the Lou Ferrigno series that was so popular at the time. Now let's talk about why exactly this decision was made, and why the director chose to do it in such a way. So I don't know if I've ever talked about this, but one of my first ever memories of watching anything related to the Hulk, I believe it is my first time ever seeing the Hulk, was the old Lou Ferrigno intro, and it's because at the time my dad was watching old episodes of it, believe it or not. Like at the time he would have been watching it and I would have glanced over and I'm old enough to remember, I was probably like three to four years old and the series was already a decade old at that point, so again, it's one of those early memories, so when they did the whole intro and a throwback to it, it literally brought me back to that moment where I was like, oh wow, it's like the first time I ever experienced Hulk. Just watching that intro, I was captivated, and I have, you know, a couple memories of watching the series when I was like four years old. So speaking with multiple outlets, the writer of the show and the director of the show talked about why they decided to do this, and essentially, it's because they wanted a tribute to 1978's The Incredible Hulk. They always knew that they wanted something like this. They always knew that they wanted to pay respect to Bill Bixby, because again, he was The Incredible Hulk, or he was Bruce, okay, it wasn't Bruce Banner in the series, and the reason behind that is completely insane. But yeah, um, they wanted to pay respects to all this, and they figured they had a way to do it here because of breaking the fourth wall paying tribute to it and also addressing the complex nature of the creation of She-Hulk works out for the best. Now in case you guys don't know, She-Hulk exists because they were going to introduce a female Hulk in the Hulk TV series and if they would have, they would have held on to those rights. So Stan Lee already had an idea to create a female Hulk and they said, hey, put that to paper quick, we gotta get it out before they put it on the show and they permanently own the character. And then it happened, and then the licensing issue and all that. So essentially, she said they wanted to break the fourth wall and address this scenario, hence why it's called what it is, you know, the Savage She-Hulk and all that, because that was the original pitch for it. We talked about this in one of our podcasts in our audio commentary for the last episode a lot, because I really love everything related to the Hulk, always have. Again, like I said... The original series, one of my earliest memories, if not the oldest memory I have related to the Hulk. So, to me, it's always been something that's really cool, and I personally love that they did that, because the callback to me was really special. It's like acknowledging where you came from and how you were created, but addressing also multiple things in modern day. 